just making a short video on how to run a VAT statement <clears throat> and how to post the VAT settlement to your chart of accounts. Uh, I just want you to take note that I'm purely showing you how to use the software. It's entirely your responsibility to make sure that your VAT return is correct. So there are three things to consider. Uh, first of all, there's the VAT entries, then there's the VAT statement, and then there is uh, posting the VAT statement. So first of all, let's just take a quick look at the VAT entries. To look at your VAT entries, you click on the search in the top right hand corner and search VAT entries and you want to click this one. This will show you all of the entries that have that will be appearing on the VAT statement. So in this case, we've got a couple of standard VATs, a couple of exempt VATs. You have purchases and sales in here. You have the base amount and then you have the VAT amount. So what you'll be paying and what you'll be claiming back. This is a very good place to check if your VAT return is going to be correct or if, if anything has made its way onto the VAT statement, which it shouldn't do, you'll find it in here. What you'll also see here is a column called closed. When the VAT statement has been run and the VAT has been posted, it's going to change these transactions to closed. And in the next return, they will not be included. So I can see here, this is a fresh company that I've just put a few invoices through. You can see here that none of these um, entries have yet been submitted, so they'll all appear on the return. So that's VAT entries, very good place for you to look and analyze your return. You can also open this in Excel as well to make it easier to filter. So just to confirm, search window in the top right and VAT entries is what you're looking for. So then there's the VAT statement. Now this is what you are going to be paying to the HMRC. So to get your VAT statement, you go to report and then you go to VAT statement. Now, when you come to this screen, it'll probably look like this. You need to make sure that you select show more to get the additional options. And then you simply select the period that you want to run the return for. So in this case, I'm just gonna do it for one month, even though it would be, let's say we were to do it for the quarter. Um, November, December, January. Uh, so start date and end date. So what we've got here is open and close. Now this relates back to the last table I spoke about. You only want to do a, return, a VAT statement with the VAT entries that are open, because if you select open and closed, you could uh, resubmit transactions that you've already submitted to the HMRC. So it's quite important that you select open. Now this is quite a cool option because <clears throat> Dynamics understands, uh, like I said, it understands VAT entries that haven't yet been submitted or closed. So let's say you've submitted your previous VAT return and then you actually find some additional invoices. Well, you do not need to bring those invoices into the current period. You can still post them into the previous period where they should belong. So your profit and loss will be fine, but you can include them in the later um, VAT returns. So what this is going to do is regardless of when the invoices was uh, posted, as long as it's, as it's before this ending date, it's going to include it. So it's actually going to do <clears throat> this date and then every single date previous that has an open VAT entry. Uh, the statement template name should be VAT or your system should have a standard VAT entry already on them. And then at this point, leave these two blank, leave these blank and just press preview. And this should generate your VAT statement. So we can see here, as you'll all be familiar with, the net VAT to be paid is £41.85. And then you've got your boxes that you would traditionally fill in the HMRC. So um, we will be going digital very soon, uh, but this is the way to do it up until April. This is just the, the manual way of doing a VAT return. So if we look at the chart of accounts, so you can search the chart of accounts, or you can find the chart of accounts on the left-hand side here. This is also a good place to understand your VAT. So your VAT liability will be here. You've got um, what you owe and what you're reclaiming and then the total. And you'll see that this matches the VAT statement. Now the odds are yours won't match because you're probably six weeks ahead of your, your last VAT quarter if you're just thinking about submitting it. Uh, but this should reflect, providing the date is right, it should reflect what's on the VAT statement. 
So once we've um, submitted the VAT to the HMRC, we now need to tell the system that all those entries are closed. So I'm just going to nip back to the VAT entries because I need to check a date. So I'm going to go to the VAT entries. I'm going to make sure that I filter this so it's only showing the open entries. And I'm going to look at the first posting date. So in this case, because this is a demo, it's the 28th. But it could be up to a year before, depending on when you've posted the previous invoice. So let's say you found some purchase invoices lying around that should have gone into the last VAT quarter. Well, you need to make sure that when you post the VAT, you include the first date from the entries. So I'll just show you what this looks like. Once we've submitted the statement, we now need to select this button here calculate and post the VAT settlement. So the starting date, so even, even though the end date is the end of January, I'm actually going to, in this example, I'm going to go back a few months. So let's just say 1st of May to the end of January. And then I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it on the end of January. So make sure that the posting date is the same as the end of the uh, VAT posting settlement. The document number you can just date, so we'll say 3101-2019. The settlement account, if you search for VAT, you should see a VAT liability account. And this is going to transfer all of the uh, VAT entries into the settlement account ready for you to pay. And then you select show VAT entries and post. And then you press print. And it's asking you, do you want to calculate and post the VAT settlement? Yes, we do. So this is what it produces. Now, it's important that you do keep this document because this is a record of your VAT return. You must keep hold of this document for your files. It's very, very important. Now, if we go back to the VAT statement, and try and run this again with exactly the same settings we're going to see that there is nothing there because it's now been submitted likewise if we now go back to VAT entries we can see that they've all been closed so at this point in time I have not a single VAT entry in the system likewise if I look at the chart of accounts you'll see that it's all been moved to the liability. So I know what I owe in VAT now. So £41.85. And the sales control and the purchase control accounts are now empty. So that's how you run a VAT statement. Just make sure that you keep this um, record and make sure you keep a copy of your VAT statement um, for if you're ever to get an investigation, these documents are vital.